In this channel, we have a tradition where I suit up for the season finale, but still no pants. You know why? Because this is a hobby, not a job. Let's begin. All right, enough with the small talk. Confess. Give me the answer. Reject me already. Like, there's no shot. He's gonna, he's gonna be like, I love you all this time. No shot. Like, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> no, I never did. <laughs> I, imagine being Yamada, dude. You're just burdened with all these girls confessing to you all the time. Like, this is... <laughs> I could never relate to this guy. <laughs> I mean, it's a shoujo manga, right? It's an adaptation of a shoujo series. But like, damn, this guy has a good... In fact, this is like a first world problems in terms of... Oh, wait, wait. Uh-huh. Okay, you got it off your chest, so you're, you'll be fine. If, you know, if you get rejected or not. If I was Yamada right now, I'd be so awkward, like, damn. Just, huh? Wait, what did you just say? Oh. <laughs> okay, thanks. <laughs> you got the ASMR voice, yeah. It's a lot of things. In fact, you could say that maybe she knows more of Yamada than Akane. You know? That's a lot. Yeah. Okay, your biggest fan girl? Stop! Stop! Why, author? Why did you do this to her? Every oh, she can't even. See. I thought she had contact lenses in, maybe. Or maybe it's because she's just crying. Now she's just gonna go left down. The biggest fucking twist will be. I actually love you all this time too, baby. Let's go. And then Akane gets fucked again. No, nah, it's not gonna happen. I think the whole point of this is for her to, you know, exactly have no regrets, get all these things that she wanted to say off her chest, so that she can move on, and there's closure. Now, just let her down gently. But you still have to tell her that, you know, it's not gonna happen. Uh-uh! I can't! There it is. I think everybody knew this is gonna happen. Even she did, right? It's just so cruel that the author brought this girl in at the end game just for her to get fucked up like this to, I don't know, have a little bit more drama near the end of the series because if Yamada and Akane just got together all simply happily ever after, it'd be a little bit kind of boring in a sense, right? Akane. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, Akane's drawing on it. <sighs> but maybe they can fr They're kind of already friends in the game, right? I, I think... They were like hanging out last episode. Now, once this is done, does that mean we're gonna get a proper, I don't know, return of feelings from Yamada to Akane this finale? Yeah, maybe? Yeah. Hi. Oh? <laughs> You're gonna stay in front of her! Damn! <laughs> it's better to be honest, right? It's better to be honest than to say no and to start dating and then, you know, be kind of fucked up later on words, but <laughs> this is so fucked up. <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> this is fucked up. Why am I laughing? I'm just laughing at the ridiculousness of how she's getting treated. <laughs> like, how you said yes. I actually do like Akane more. But you know she's gonna go home and just start crying even more. <laughs> Okay, maybe we can walk her home. Yeah, this is dangerous. You're gonna get hit by a car. No, that's actually so dangerous. I don't care if you're strong or not. If you get hit by a car, you're done. Maybe she can get isekai then, actually. And then maybe she'll be in a different world where there'll be like a harm of guys. Yeah, maybe this is a good plan. Please don't show us the scene of her just crying all the way home. Please don't. Let this girl rest in peace, please! <laughs> this poor girl, dude. All right, all right. Okay, we're done with that. Now, Akane Yamada. We'll just get settled this episode. 
Oh, on the house, then maybe some special service. Una. Yamada. Oh, Oh, Damn. Damn, president. Yeah, before he started a strawberry farm, what was he? Cause like I've been, I'm not saying looking down on Kamuta, but like. You know, he's just a humble dude just like running a strawberry farm, but it looks like he's some special dude in the past. Well, these are like some really important people, right? <laughs> what, he, what was he in the past? The fuck? This is not a regular strawberry farm, dude. No, no, no. That's what I'm saying. A super rich person. Whoa. Oh, look at the marbling on that meat. Bro, what is Kamuta? What is Kamuta? That's some Wagyu, dude! What is all his special treatment? Is Kamuta some special, super special person? He clearly is. What, what the fuck? That's one of the nice things about games and guilds like this is that it kind of like... You would never be able to have a chance. Yeah, Runa, yes. Only the current members, even though if a new girl shows up, maybe you'll be new friends. But like, in games like this, it really allows you to break the barrier of different age gap. Because you wouldn't have a normal chance to hang out with the person that Kamuta if you're like, you know, Akana's or like, you know, Runa's age. That's maybe the beautiful thing about games. Growing up so late. <laughs> wow, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Akane is drunk. This might be good, though. If she's super drunk, maybe some honest feelings will come out, you know? <laughs> she's so drunk. <laughs> maybe hey. Actually, this might not be a good thing because, like, Yamara. Because. <laughs> Do you think Yamada would confess to Akane in this drunken state? I don't think he would. In fact, I don't think a confession scene might be happening from Yamada to Akane's side at this rate. Uh... Okay, okay. We're gonna come over, right? Like her. She is the drunkard. Oh. Oh, a little bit more romantic moment. Holding hands. But will a confession happen from Yamada to Akane? And I do not think so because she is drunk and it wouldn't be proper for a gentleman like Yamada to do such a thing when she's drunk. It's okay. It's time for a piggyback. Come on, piggyback. Hmm. What does that look? You give me them bedroom eyes? What's up? Huh? Huh? I don't know. I, I thought maybe she would like lean in for a kiss or something. What? What? You got something to say? Say it. Oh. Oh, wait. Damn. Oh, I thought they were holding hands like, you know, <laughs> not like this, but like, like this. That's a little extra lewd. No, you're staying over. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. It looks like she kind of sobered up, though. This is your moment. This this is your moment. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Want to stay the night? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's how you're going to ask him? <laughs> Compared to what Glasses Girl was doing in the beginning of the episode, getting also ready in a dramatic mode. I kind of just blurts it out, kind of semi drunk. Maybe he'll just say yes, though. Maybe he'll just say yes, though. Say it. Yes. Oh, here it comes. Oh! That's, 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 that's not a no! It's also incredibly rare to see him, like, smile like that. I mean, last time you actually confessed to him at the festival, school festival, he literally said, You're like this prize I could never think of attaining. Obviously, he's into you. Ooh! 
We're glasses girl. She better not be around right now. <laughs> I'll tell you again. Oh. Oh. That's a wrap. Damn. Damn. Bro, this is a... It took 13 episodes. We finally did it. There's actual development in this series. Fantastic. Not throwing shade at another series I just recently finished, like Kubo. Look, look. The whole point of Kubo isn't to have these fast developments. It's a very slow, slow burn. I get it. But sometimes I just want some kind of payoff, you know? I spent some time watching this fucking series over like three months. Yeah! Now, there's no actual kiss. You know, but at least we got a confession. Yes! <laughs> of course! What's he gonna say? I thought it was gonna be a kiss for a second. Damn, what a gentleman. Oh, look at him clutch her tighter. It's a wrap, folks. We got it. We got him. Oh, they're hanging out at a cafe. Oh. Good luck. Nah, he's gonna be fine. He's already coasting. The fangs. That's what you're focusing on. Is <laughs> she listen? The girl beside, did she hear that? Oh. No more mature woman. Let's be you. Who cares? Mm. Oh, then I will. Oh. oh, really? Okay, here it is. Give me your hand. Aww. Look how embarrassed she is, even though she's the older one. Is that supposed to represent like Cinderella heel? Isn't that like when she fell in the first episode and tried to like help her out? Right? She fell, she lost her shoe, and then Yamada was there. Yeah! This is a rap. Nice angle. That's what he was thinking at that time. That's what he was thinking at that time! And then the fateful encounter. It's a nice little book close. There it is, folks. Yamada and Akane, happily ever after. I wonder how the series is going to continue since the confession happened, but I guess now they can kind of, I don't know, have a little uh, bits here and there with them, a newlywed couple, right? <laughs> the classic girl. She got fucked so hard. Everybody knew it was coming. It's just, it's the inevitable is coming, and everyone's like, oh, no, here it comes. She's going to get let down, and she gets let down, and she runs the vending machine. It's sad, but it is what it is. Of all the wrong com series we've seen so far, this series actually did deliver in terms of like actual development here at the end. So I enjoyed it for what it was. But hey, if you're still here, if you did enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.